so let's talk about the problematic elements of this game, honestly and openly. Not about the quality of the gameplay, only what that gameplay means, what it says about issues we're facing today, and why we need to think about these things when we're placing our games in the real world. Because in The Division, you're a government agent killing U.S. citizens on U.S. soil by government order, without due process of law, and those actions are portrayed as heroic. That's terrifying. This game world is a totalitarian wasteland, and it glorifies it. In The Division, you play as part of a sleeper cell, which the President has planted in the U.S. civilian population, answerable only to him, and usable as a military force against U.S. citizens. That is nuts! The head of state having a private army to be used against his own populace is basically the very definition of a totalitarian state. All right, I think it's about time we got around to telling you about Firefall's premise. It's always nice to see a studio that doesn't do the typical thing of... <sighs> orcs and elves? Yep, works for me, let's get started. So let's talk about the setting. The place? Earth. The time? The intermediate future. It's a world that's been ravaged by two major calamities. Earth's population has been decimated, and then driven to the very edge of extinction. And yet, this isn't your usual grim future setting. Yes, it is an apocalypse, to be sure, but it's not the road or anything. Firefall asks the question, what if we dealt with a catastrophe of this scale rationally, or at least as rationally as we were able to? What if society didn't devolve into backstabbing outlaw gangs and roving cannibals? What if things stayed as normal as possible in a world under siege? Now, I love me a good Fallout-style apocalypse story, and I'll reread The Postman any day, but this reversal of the standard trope is a rather nice change of pace, and it actually creates a much more vibrant palette for the Firefall story than the apocalypse cliches we're used to. The game begins in Brazil, with all the vivacity and life you might expect from such a setting. More, in fact, but that's something you'll find out when you jump in. We want to talk to you about Red 5, the guys working on Firefall. Over the last few weeks, we've spoken with, visited, and even campaigned against Sopo with members of their team. We really like these guys, and so we've decided that we want to do whatever we can to help them out. You're gonna be fucking kidding. 